Hey you guys, I'm Magic Wizard here, how's it going? Um, I've got a special little video for you today. Uh, I um, I installed a mod and uh, it's, it's called the Humans Plus mod and I played it for a bit earlier and it is so insanely cool. Pretty much it uh, it uh, you it spawns NPCs for you, non-playable characters and they are they just kind of wander around but it's so cool if you actually see it oh I started off by above what sounds kind of like a oh there's one I think yep they uh they kind of look like knights and like crusaders and crazy stuff like that uh, I think this one here is a crusader I don't know the actual names but I call them a crusader the ones with the diamond swords and then only have a yeah he's got a nice cross on his chest and uh, I'll give you my opinion of the mod, but I think you've already gathered that I think it's amazingly cool. Um, I'll give uh, also the positives and negatives that I have found so far. One of which is, I don't know if it's true, but um, I don't think you can um, like install a HD texture pack if you've got a mod, because you have to mod the Minecraft files again and I think it messes it up because I tried doing it earlier and it kept like quitting. Uh, this is on single player as you can see because it says save and quit the title not disconnect and uh, it actually puts names above some of them for you. I, uh, I think these ones are heroes and they have capes as well which is pretty cool but yeah uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, another negative that I found is that uh, for them to spawn you have to have the difficulty on uh, easy, normal, or hard, which is annoying because I, sometimes I like to just play on peaceful, just to, you know, build some fun stuff, and it'd be quite cool just to have some N NPCs around for that. Um, at night time, I think some of them carry torches around, which is really cool because it helps you, uh, it helps you see stuff like further away, obviously. But it's just, it looks awesome. Um, I might skip forward, but if I don't, then I won't. Um, this is just a random world I started. I'm just walking around at the moment. Um, the advantages are uh, they freaking rule. What other advantages do you need? I mean, it. There's another one. What's his name? I can't see. I bomb a lot. And this is an evil one. He looks kind of like a hunter guy. I'll help kill him. Ah, yeah, yay. You get hearts as well. They drop hearts, that just restores one heart of health. Um, uh, I'm hoping to find... You get... There's like a load of different ones. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where I downloaded it. But it's really cool. There's like assassins and stuff, and they, they're the evil ones. There's evil ones, there's good ones, and then there's undead. And there's horses as well, which I think you can ride but you need a saddle. I'm guessing. I'm guessing you need a saddle. I haven't actually seen a... I, I saw an NPC riding a horse. Um, hopefully you haven't seen anything like this before. I was searching around yesterday for something like this. Like, uh, I was looking for uh, the Hero Brine mod. If you don't know what that is, it's really cool. But I couldn't find it anywhere, but then this had it in it. So I downloaded this. And it's turned out pretty well. Uh, yeah, there's there's uh, there's good people, there's bad people, and there's I think they're called undeads. And Hero Brian is one of the undead as well. I've, uh, I've only met a couple of bad guys so far. This guy here is bad. I'll kill him. And also that like, he starts bleeding out of his head. I reckon that's pretty cool. That's a cool addition. Yeah, we wiped him out. Ah, oh, he dropped a bow. Amazing. I didn't realize they dropped bows. That's really, really handy. If anything, that's a bit too good. Because uh, finding stupid string by killing spiders, which I find hard to do, is uh, it's a bit bit difficult. Yeah, this is a really, really epic mod. If uh, I don't know if I'll keep it forever, because I can imagine it might start getting annoying. You know, there's, it's just more enemies to fight off. But they do give a helping hand every now and then, which is pretty cool. I will try 
and I'll try and get an, uh, one of these guys to give me a helping hand, but I don't think I can do it until night time, because then there'll be a zombie. Oh, is this guy attacking me, is he? No, he just wants to be friends. Oh, sh no, he's attacking me. Yep, he killed me. That was weird. Oh yeah, also they talk. They leave little messages down where you, uh, where like the little chat bar is in multiplayer. They leave little messages down there. That one there just shouted die now at me, which is nice. Thank you, man. It really made me look cool. I just got killed by a person who isn't anyone. So thanks for that. Anyway guys, I would, yeah, as I said earlier, I would definitely recommend this mod, but uh, one thing, if you do install it, make sure you back up all of the uh, the bin files, all of your save files, resources. Um, I don't, th I think you have to use this texture pack, the like the default texture pack with it, which is a bit of a bummer because personally, I know it's like epic, it's retro, I mean it is, it's quite a cool texture pack, well it's cool original textures, but I I, th I do prefer the custom ones. I did have the uh, the HD Bordercraft one installed, which is my personal favourite. It is amazing, although it, it does make it a tiny bit laggy if I have far and fancy on while I record. Yeah, and I've got Fancy and Fire on now, and it seems to be pretty alright. I could turn Advanced OpenGL on, actually. That'd be quite good. i got Smooth Lighting as well. I'll leave it on. It seems to be working okay. But, yeah. The... I haven't found Herobrine yet, which is what I was most excited about, because I've, like, I've seen loads of posts and a load of videos about Herobrine, and it looks epic when he just, like, just shows up and just completely fucks you over. I'd quite like that to happen. But I, um, I'm thinking for the future I'll try and find some more of these mods and install them and give you guys a quick preview on what you could be having. This is all completely free, although you need to buy Minecraft... Although I think you can you can download the uh, like the single player for free, but for multiplayer you need to pay. But the the mod is completely free. Go give those guys some credit though, because hats off. This is one of the coolest things I've seen possible in Minecraft so far. I've seen the plane mods and stuff. They're really cool as well. I might try those out. But I've heard they're really hard to install. This was actually pretty easy to install. There's a on the. Um, the website I downloaded it from, there's a YouTube video embedded in which shows you how to install it. It's clear instructions. It was great. It took me about five minutes to get it all done, probably. Wanted to make sure I followed all the steps quickly, though. Not quickly. Like, properly. Safely. Because I didn't want to miss anything out. This is quite a nice map, actually. I just randomly started it then. But yes, guys. Go check out the Humans mod. It's really epically cool. Um, and I will catch you all next time. Goodbye.